At this point, we know that if we take the cross product of two vectors, we get a vector that's perpendicular to both. Um, so u cross v would be perpendicular to both u and v. But now we want to be a bit more precise about this. Um, there are two different directions that be perpendicular. Let me show you in the original picture we had over here. So if I have v and w here, we have this vector, which could be v cross w. And we have this one right here, which could also be v cross w. So at this point, we don't know which direction is the correct one for v cross w. And that's what the right hand rule that we'll see in a second tells us. All right, so let's get back to where we were. Um, if you want the direction of u cross v, um, you need to take your right hand. That's important. If you take your left hand, you'll get the wrong answer. So you take the right hand and you place it all palm and the fingers of your right hand in the direction of the vector u. So you put your hand, this is u right here, you put your hand and your palm and those fingers in the direction of u. Then you need to bend your fingers in the direction of the second vector in the direction of v. And once you've done that, your thumb right here should give you the direction of u cross v. All right, let's try this in this example. All right, so I'm given three vectors. I'm given um, three unit vectors, the three standard unit vectors, which are usually called i, j, k. So i is 1, 0, 0, j is 0, 1, 0, and k 0, 0, 1. Notice that I've put a hat on i, j, k instead of an arrow. That's often what is used uh, for unit vectors, but an arrow would be correct as well. All right, so I want to use the right hand rule to sketch both i cross j and j cross i. And then once I've used the right hand rule to figure out where those two vectors should be, how they should point, um, I want to check that my work is correct using algebra, using um, our definition of the cross product. All right, so let me draw these vectors. i is 1, 0, 0, so that's in the x direction. So let's bring it here. That's i. And then let me put j, which is in the y direction, right here. All right, so here are i and j. I want to take i cross j. Now, this would be easier if you could actually see my hands, but let's take our right hand. And I want to place it the, I want to place its palm and its fingers in the direction of the blue vector. The blue vector is sticking out from the page, so I want my hand to stick out from the page. Okay. And then I want to be able to bend my fingers in the direction of the red vectors, so I want to bend them right. Now, if you've managed to do this, your thumb should be sticking up. So in this case, this is what you should get. Now, if I want j, <coughs> sorry, if I want j cross i, I should take my hand and my fingers, my palm and my fingers, and place them in the direction of the red vector. So place them going right on the page. And then I want to bend my fingers coming out. Now, if you're like me and you put your hand palm facing the paper, you won't be able to bend your fingers out. You would be able to bend your fingers. And that means I need to flip it so that the back of my hand is following the red vector. Back of my hand is on, sorry, back of my hand is on the page. The back of my hand flipped the page. <laughs> All right, the back of my hand is on the page. Now I can bend my fingers out. And so that means the thumb needs to be pointing down for me to be able to do this. So J cross I would be going down. All right, so let's check this. Um, let's check what we would get algebraically if I take 1, 0, 0, and I cross it with 0, 1, 0. Um, I'll take 
um, one zero copy it zero one and then let me do it all in the same color because at this point we're pretty familiar with these and I get zero times minus zero I get zero times minus zero and I get one minus zero and so in this case I get K yeah that works K and my drawing for I cross J are both pointing up so that works I'm happy with this now let's try to see what happens if I switch the order Uh, my three crosses would go here. The first one would give me zero minus zero. Second one is zero minus zero. Third one is zero minus one. And so in this case, I get minus K, which would be pointing down. And my drawing of J cross I is in the down direction too. So both my algebra and my geometry seem to agree. So one thing to notice from this is if I look at these two vectors, if I've just switched the order of the vectors, I cross J versus J cross I. So the vectors V cross W and W cross V, well, that's what I did here, are in opposite direction, but they have the same length. All right, so what does that mean? It means that W cross V is minus V cross W. This is very, very, very interesting. This is one of the first cases where a product is not commutative. You can't just switch the order of the two um, terms in your product. If you do switch them, you need to add a minus sign. 